Okay, thank you very much for clicking on and for joining me. Um, if you are a UK reseller, if you, well, if you anybody who wants to sell a few things on eBay, Poshmark, Vinted, anything, you need to know how to take photographs. A photograph is far better than any description, any title. The photograph is what sells the item. If you can make it look good, if you can show them details crisply and beautiful, then people are going to want to buy Today, I'm going to show you how to take amazing photographs, and I'm going to show you some examples that I've done, right? And I've got a website full of amazing things. You can check my photographs out. I know what I'm saying. And I don't mean using a £1,000 camera, because I've got a £1,000 camera, and it sits on a shelf, and I don't even use it. Stick around, and I'm going to show you just how to take photographs. Very cheap and very awesome. Anyway. A little introduction, just quickly. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm a UK reseller. I'm an antique dealer. I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, weird and wonderful. Um, and I sell them all online. I sold on eBay for a very long time. I've now moved on to my own website, antiquesarena.com. So you won't find me on eBay anymore, but I've done eBay. I've done eBay for decades. I know how eBay works. I know how good the photograph's got to be to sell it. But check out my website, and you'll see I got 4,000 items on there. Some amazing pieces. Anyway, I'm going to share some of my images with you now, and then I'm going to show you just how I do it. All right. I always put my money where my mouth is. If I say I can do something or I'm going to do something or I try and help, I back it up. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So take a look at a couple of these images. That is absolutely crisp, clear, beautiful image. And my, all my images, you can zoom in. Um, there you go. And I, what I've done, I've done multiple different things. I've done clocks, ceramics. Look at that beautiful plate, hand painted. I've done cloisonne enamel, gold, bit of porcelain figurine, ladro bowl. Look how beautiful the photographs are. I even wanted to show you how you can do close up photographs. Look at that. Now, if anybody deals in Chinese porcelain, you know how important it is to show the grain in that porcelain, the, the body of the porcelain. And look how look at that. You can even see the glaze sitting on top of the paint uh, on top of the hand paint in there. These are the type of photographs that sell your items. I'm gonna go through them very quickly again, just so you can have a quick look. If you've missed any, these are top quality photographs, and I haven't got any special setup. I'll show you what I got and how cheap it is now. Really, really proud of my photographs. Proud of my website. But the photographs are just amazing. Now, as I've said, I've got a Pantec, Pantec camera, £1,000 camera with macro lenses, micro lenses, you name it. I got it all. Do you know, I don't even use it. I have got an old iPhone 7. I haven't even got a modern iPhone. It's an iPhone 7. That is what I use for my photographs. I'll show you how. So you can use any phone, and odds are you've got a better phone than an iPhone 7. Take a look at this picture. That is me, forgive the mess in my office, uh, taking a photograph of a vase in a little light box with my iPhone 7. This is my light box. Now I'm going to show you the light boxes fully in a minute. I use the black and the white backdrops, but they come with multiple backdrops. The only expense you've got to use, if you've got a phone, you can use your phone. The only expense is a little light box. And they come in multiple sizes, so be careful. Now they have lights built into the ceiling, where the diffusing piece of material comes over it to diffuse the light, but it doesn't diffuse it very well. Sometimes if you're taking photographs of paperweights, things like that, you can have to hold a piece of paper of above the foot, uh, above the paperweight to block the reflection off the paperweight, things like that. But as a rule, they're fabulous things. Take a look, I'm gonna show you some now. These are the light boxes on Amazon. The big one there, which is 60 centimeters cubed, or 60 by 60 by 60, is 87 pound. Now, I know I could do affiliate links and make a couple of pounds. I'm not interested in that. I do these videos to help you. Um, 
So if you like the videos, like, share, anything you can to help me back, I'd really appreciate it. Go to Amazon. Look at that. You can buy a 16-inch here, £50. If you want small ones, £37 and even £29 for jewellery. If you just do smalls, invest £29. They come with, look at all them different colours down there they come with. Look at that. They're all the different backdrops. You don't buy them. They come with those backdrops. Let me show you. This is how they look here. So you can open the front door and you can take a photograph through the front. You can drop the front down totally, which is what I do because I like to take big photographs. Let me check. I'm sharing this. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Yes, I am. Um, go back there. Or you can photograph in. Why is that changing? Sorry. You can photograph in from the top, as you can see there on the right. If I come down the photographs, you can see there the difference with the light on, light off. It's got a diffusing light. They are the LEDs in the top. But if you take a look on the right-hand side here, um, you can see there's a diffusing piece of material that goes over the LEDs to just spread that light over and distribute the light evenly. And then you get the photographs that I have such as these. Look at that. That is using that that light, that backdrop on white, white on white. Beautiful image. Look at that. Beautiful ruby red on white. I don't use any expensive setup. I bought that um, photograph tent probably about four years ago. I paid 50 quid for that one. The prices have gone up a little bit. Simple iPhone. And if you want to doubt me, I'm going to show you. Go to images, and you can see there's all my stock images. There's one I done last night. Look at that. I photograph on my iPhone, but all my photographs are on the iPhone. I do this. My stock comes on the iPhone. I don't use a camera. Look at this for a photograph. Hang on. What did I do there? Oh, my phone just died. Typical. Just died. I'm going to show you a beautiful blue ruffled vase I done last night that it was on by there to show, prove to you that I'm only using the iPhone. But I think I've done it anyway. That's all you need to do. Invest, if you're doing smalls, £30 to a little photograph tent and use your own phone. <laughs> Can't get any easier than that, can I? I hope it helps you. Honestly, photographs are what sell your item. Now, if someone clicks onto your item and they look at it and it's an okay image, they're not going to buy it, are they? You've got to make someone think, oh, my God, that is beautiful. I want that in my collection. That's how you sell something. I sell stuff on the website that people can't sell on eBay because of my photographs. I hope this has helped you. I got loads of videos designed to help, and I also do how-to videos. Um, I do haul videos. I show you some of the treasures I find, tell you how much they, I paid for them. I also do sold videos, showing you what I've sold and what I sold it for. That's in my section of playlist sold items. Go check them out. But if you got this far, if you like the videos and they do help you, please, please, please share the videos. As I said, I don't even do affiliate links and things like that. I just don't bother. If you want to help me, share the channel. And I'm grateful. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.